A reminder that all the code used in this video is available in the GitHub in the description below. Hey everyone, Brad from DevOps Journey here, and today we are going to go over our Vagrant file, and we are going to convert it from a single virtual machine configuration into one that has multiple hosts defined in it. So to get started, I'm just going to move this configuration down here so we have it for reference. And then I'm going to copy and paste uh, some configuration I have ready. And it's a list of devices. You can see it's named servers here. And it's got all my hosts defined in here. So each one has a unique host name. Each one has an image associated, an IP address, and a unique SSH port so we can jump into SSH on the different stations. So that's the first thing we want to do. The next thing we want to do is we want to define a loop and actually assign these configurations. So to do that, we type in servers, which would be this variable name right here, and then go each do and then define a variable name. I'll use machine. Since this is a loop, there'll need a end tag there, and I'll work within this loop. And then I want to loop through the configuration, so I will put in a loop for that, which looks like this. Config.vm.define, and then the machine, which is this variable with which references to each of these, and then node, the node variable. And then for each of these lines, I'll put this in. So you can see here that uh, we're looping through each of the machines. And then we're defining each, the settings of each machine. So this is referencing the box right here. And this is referencing the host name and then the IP and SSH port. Now since this these settings, the synced folder and the copied file, is going to be the same for each node. I can just sort of copy and paste this here. I want to change this config. I want to change that to node because it's it within this loop and I'm referencing the node right now. So that's all I should require for uh, this loop. The next thing I will want to do is uh, copy this and paste this in here. Put down a separate line, paste that, and again instead of doing config I want to change that to node because it's within this loop. And that should be complete. I'll just make sure that these are all lined up. So that looks good. I'm going to take this out since we don't need it anymore. And that should be everything we need. So I'm going to open up a terminal here and VirtualBox. And we are in our workspace with that Vagrant file. And let's do a Vagrant validate to make sure we have no syntax errors. Vagrant file validated successfully. So let's go ahead and uh, do a Vagrant up. And this should provision all three servers. So I'll go ahead and speed up the video while this provisions. All right, so it looks like everything's provisioned. We got three different servers here. And uh, if I go ahead and I try to ping one of the IP addresses, we should get results. That one's up, that one's up. And for some reason, this one isn't responding. Not entirely sure why. Well, let's go ahead and hop into our machines. So we'll use the vagrant ssh command like we did before. 
But if you just do that, you'll see that it won't know which one to connect to. So we actually need to special, uh, specify the virtual machine name. So we're going to say server1 here. And this should bring us into our first server. And as you can see, we're in the first server. Do an ls, we can see the copied file in that data folder. So let's exit out of here. Let's try to get into server 3, since this one wasn't responding to a ping. And I'm looking at my configuration file, and I think I see why. So let me... Let me go and fix that configuration file. So I actually put in the incorrect IP address. I'm sure a lot of you caught this. And uh, let's uh, change the port. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today in regards to Vagrant and getting multiple hosts up with a single file. It's very useful if you're bringing up a development environment. I will be using this for a lot of my videos. In the next, uh, the next course I plan on doing is Ansible, and uh, we'll have multiple hosts about, I think it's going to be about four or five servers all up at once. So this is a great way that, so this is a great way to provision those servers and uh, just make sure all my virtual environments are up and then I'll configure the rest with Ansible. So if you're interested in the Ansible course, uh, it's coming out soon and uh, if it's already out then uh, the links will be below. So if you're interested in my Ansible course, the links are below, so please check it out. Thanks so much and if you enjoyed this video please like and if you want <laughs> okay, so you can see that this is extremely valuable if you want to bring up a bunch of servers for a development environment. I will be using this a lot for my Ansible course, and yeah, in that course I think I have about four or five different servers, and I use a Vagrant file very similar to this to bring up all my servers, and then uh, I start configuring them all with uh, Ansible. So if you're interested in learning Ansible, please join me for that course. The links to it will be below. If you enjoyed this video and this series on Vagrant, please uh, leave a like. And if you want to continue learning with me, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.